Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's Nightfall, the hol hollowed layer. The hollowed layer. We are running uh, an Ox subclass, we're running Ox Trader, bottom class of the sub, bottom tree of the subclass. I'm using Read and Flux, obviously it's a given now when you're ever using Ox Trader. Uh, my modifiers are uh, Solar Singe, Heavyweight and Momentum. And I'm using the Midnight Coop as my primary, my kinetic, uh, and Solar Manan in this time as my energy and the Whisper as my heavy. Apologize for any kind of crackling in my voice. Uh, just get just getting over a chest infection. If it's not one thing, it's another when it comes to commentary. <laughs> uh, th th this is this is a, a no. I'm not going to lie. This is quite an annoying nightfall. <laughs> it was quite an annoying nightfall to learn because the boss has boss. I struggled to learn the boss. I never really done this very many times in the strike playlists, but once I come up with a strategy, it was. It's pretty good. So breaking the strike down, you've basically got three main encounters. You've got the tank encounter, you've got the two plate encounter, then you've got the boss. In between, you do have some pockets of ads. Some of them I do fight, most of them I don't. So when you get to this first encounter, this is the tank encounter, you want to take down the arc captain. Now, that this will be the way of it for each encounter. You want to take the arc captain. So I take this one before I even go into the room. Then I'll regenerate my health using momentum. And then we're going to make it into the room. Now you're going to have some red bar ads, and then you're going to uh, two, two orange bar, two elite snipers are going to spawn. So you want to take those, and then you you're on to the next phase of this battle, which is the tank. And to access that, you've got to go into the plate in the center. When you go into the plate in the center, you're going to spawn a whole new wave of ads. You, in that wave of ads, you're going to have a solar captain, which we take down immediately. Uh, you're going to have a, a heap of just garden variety, red bar, uh, normal scorn. You're going to have two orange bar snipers on the platforms, exactly the same position that we just took the, the, the first two. But you're going to have two red bar snipers positioned back, back, left and right. So you want to take all those out before you access the, the tank. Now, you, the, with this being a guide and not a speed run, if I was speed running this, I probably would have just tried to attack the tank straight off. We're not going to bother with that. So we took the solar captain straight away from the back so we we're safe. And then we, I make it over to this room. Now, as you'll see in the video, I take these three ads. These three ads are always here. Now, I went straight for the sniper, not knowing that an ad had come up behind me. So just being situationally aware is, uh, is very important. There he is, and there he goes. So making sure that you're, you're clear to attack, that's kind of... That's Kind of my mantra almost, being clear to attack. I'm not the type of player, you know, there are a lot of things I do try and get done quickly. I'm the type of player that I prefer a repeatable strategy rather than, if you jump about here, and most of the time you'll stay alive. That's not strategy, that's luck. And I don't like luck, and you know. So we've took down most of the i think we've took down most of the red bar ads i think there's three that are in front of the tank we've took down the the red bar sniper that was on the back left so we've still got the back right we took down him that was the, the red bar sniper that was over there so we've got three ads in front of the tank which no problem and there is the sniper over on the back right now the tank very easy two leg shots reload six shots into the open core and that's the tank down and that's this encounter. And we're moving on to the two plates. So as you can see, that's this encounter. Now we're moving on to the two plates. We are going to have a wave of ads in between. A small section of ads in between. There are nothing too, too complicated. It's just, you just take those down. Now I'll speak a bit about the, the two plate encounter. So what I like to do is, you're going to have an arc captain on the left. As soon as you go into the room, be an arc captain left, a solar captain right. Snipers kind of back right and left, but not, you know, just standing there. They'll, they'll be moving about around the back right and the back left. You'll see in the video where they are. I think straight away as soon as I go in, I think I take down the back left sniper when I put the grenade on the arc captain. So I take those down. Then access the plates. Once I've cleared the, the, the ads, because 
you know, you don't really want to be on a plate with captains running about. You just don't because they, they can drag you off the plate, especially the arc one cam. And because we've, we've got solar, we don't want the solar captain throwing his little kind of firework display, his little bonfire anywhere near the plate. So I just make sure I take down all the ads, all the ads from the first wave. Now, you don't have to. The captains and the snipers would be enough because the, the garden variety red bar scorned go down very, very easily. So I, I the reason why I quit the, the, the scout rifle is obviously you've got the 15% extra buff. I, I, I do like a scout rifle and I do like using the Manan. And I know there's tons of other weapons to use. And it's not, uh, oh, I'm not embracing the new weapons. I just haven't found anything in the new weapons yet energy-wise that meets my requirements the way the Mananan does. So clear up these last couple of ads and then get onto the plate. Once you go onto the first plate, you will access, you, you'll, you'll initiate another wave of ads. So I was just checking there for heavy ammo just to make sure I'm constantly getting, making sure I keep my 22. Uh, I have increased reserves for sniper ammo in my armor. You will not so as you can see, now we're getting a second wave of ads. On each plate, there is cover that, that where, where you can, as you can see, that kind of wall there. Once we've took down a couple of a couple of the, the two ads that were on the stairs to the left, we've got plenty of cover. You know, ads will come over, but if you're looking that direction, they shouldn't be able to get a bead on you before you can shoot them. Once the plate is fully done, you're going to get your second major wave of ads. So when I say major, I mean two more captains. The captains and the snipers are not to be messed around with. As you can see, that's where the, the sniper is on the left. Very easy to take down because it's just your garden variety scorn. Just, you know, e easy to put down. But it's like everything in, in, in this game, it's always easier to put this stuff down when you're not in danger. So... Uh, like you can see there, I've went red because I didn't pay the, the ads enough respect and you kind of have to. So we're going to make sure that the snipers are gone because it's the snipers that really hurt you here. The snipers and the arc captain, the solar one is a lot less aggressive, I find. So make sure all the ads are down. Now, because, because you can go down so quickly, as you can see, I'm trying to not push when I don't have to. If I don't have to push, I'm not pushing. Once once the other the captains are done and we're confident that the snipers are gone, then then we can push because these guys, they you know they're not they're not really too much of a threat uh, when you know where they're going to be, you know. There's the other sniper, and he's running, and he's dead. So now we can go up onto this plate, and it's the same deal as the last plate. You go up onto the plate, you've got a little bit of cover. And then once this plate has been activated, once we're right down to the bottom, uh, then what we're going to do is we've got to go back up to the back of the room because we're going to get an ogre. And again, you, it's it's not a bit, it's not anything else. You just have to pay the ads a little bit of respect because if you don't, you're dead. And after this, basically, we're going to run straight to the boss. So there's no point in pushing this area uh, or trying to trying to do anything too quickly. There's no need for it, uh, you know, for the, for the 60 seconds or whatever that we're going to spend up at the back extra. Now, the reason I, another reason I come up the back is, and you'll notice this, the ogre will come out and you'll try and go walk about. You are going to get some of those, those scorn kind of run with the, the, the fire lanterns. You're going to get some of them coming at you, but they're, they're coming from that far away that they should never be a problem for anyone. As you can see, I'm taking most of them out. I think a couple of them make it up to me, but it's no problem. But if you push far enough away, the ogre will back away, he'll stop, and then he'll just stand there and allow you to crit him from range. And that makes this encounter, doing it this way, makes this encounter very simple. Uh, and that's the ogre down. So what we're going to do, obviously we've got momentum, so we're going to keep running, but we're going to try and grab any ammo we need while we're running so that we go to the boss encounter with full ammo. 
No, the boss encounter I found. Now this strategy I've got for the boss encounter, it's more of just a guide, like like the whole video. It's not do this. There's no cheese spots. There's no there's no one phase boss kill. There's if this is the areas I use and this is how I use them. So the boss is really kind of kind of RNG ish for me anyway. There probably is a real set way to do this boss, but the way I had done it was so when he comes in. He, 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 I try and get a couple of good headshots on him from the left hand side where I have cover. Then he'll he'll disappear and you'll get you'll have a wave of ads that are there in the center and then you'll get two more waves. I I shoot the first wave of ads, kinetic, and then when you get the the waves that are coming from the back, I I get my arc strider out and clear those ads. Then when he comes back. It's an idea, so this is where I like to attack from most of the time, the, the sides just about like here. Uh, when so, so this first bit, I try and get some decent headshots, and when he makes that, that kind of movement, he's putting down one of those electrified circles in your position. So I'm just trying to get a couple of headshots on him, and then I want my momentum propped. I'll make it over the other side. Now I think, I can, I think he's gone. And if he's gone, you're left with these ads in the center. So I'm just checking to make sure he's gone, and he has. I think it works out about a third of his health he'll, he'll go. Now again, a lot of ads, so we'll prop, we'll prop our momentum. Your super will be your friend here, but don't overuse it. Not, you know, I, I, you want to keep a super for the very end. Because what I found at the very end is, when he... We'll talk about that when we get there, but he does that thing where he drags you towards him. If you've got a super, you can pop your super and that'll take you out of that. You'll just drop to the floor. So it's a good idea to have a super ready for the last section of the boss battle. So we've took out that first first uh, group of ads that were sitting in the center. These are the waves I'm talking about. So you get this first wave. What I'm trying to do is get... I shouldn't have popped right there. I should have got them... A, to get a little bit closer to themselves, because I think I don't manage to take all the ads. So, what we want to do is clear this wave of ads, and hopefully have enough super left to clear the next wave. And as you can see, that didn't happen because the ads didn't. Be, they don't normally behave like that. They normally stick quite close together. So, what we're going to do now, and this is going to become a feature for the next waves, drag them all towards you because you've got those fire guys at the end. And then use the fire guys, use their, use their, uh, as you can see, I want the captain down. Use their explosive, you know, critical explosive to take down as many of the other ads as possible. So as you can see, I kind of focus on those. And if they get too close to you, jump, jump past them. As you see, I put a grenade down there. It done quite a lot of damage. And just make sure you're getting those. It can be it can be tricky, but as you can see, it works. So wherever you're going to attack the boss from when he comes back, don't go straight there because he'll put down one of those arc fields. So get the arc field out the way as you're running to where you're going to attack. I always attack from here because there's a decent bit of cover, and now I'm just going to wait for him, him to draw me in and get a reload on. If you've been hit, use this time to run and prop momentum before you get drawn in. And I just hit him with a couple of snipey snipes and then get away. Now, you, you are going to get waves of ads here now. I, to the most part, try and get them to move. You know, and as you can see, I'm running from side to side. Momentum's your friend, movement's your friend, but we still want to put some shots on him if we can. Now, I don't think he's left just yet. Nope, there he is. So we want to get another one or two shots on him. He was really messing about here. And now you can see he's doing his thing. We can put the arc field back down. And we just make it back over the other side. And now he's pulling us in. So a couple of snipes. Now what I had, and I don't know, I don't know if other people have had this. I had a situation doing this where my snipes weren't registering on him. So we just we just want to put as a few shots on him, but do not trade blows with this boss. 
as possible kill you very quickly. So don't think, I'll just get one more on him. Go and get your health back. And now he's gone, so now we've got this wave of ads in the centre. Now, what I'm going to do here is we'll clear these ads. And uh, we'll clear these ads. And then we're not going to use we're super on, on, the, on the waves of ads that come from the back. Right? Now, what I could have done was use my... my use my super on the first two waves but I don't think I do I think I save my super because you need your super for the, the very last bit of the boss now before anybody says anything yes there are better ways to do this I I, I guess uh, but I, I reckon that this the way I'm doing this I, I'm not saying it's the best way to do it but it was the best version of, of, of the strategy that I could find that worked with the subclass I was using and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but yeah, as, as you can see, the ads, the ads have gone down pretty quickly. Now we're going to kill the ads. We're not going to use for super. We're going to kill them. Using that strategy of, as I call it, the Benny Hill strategy, where you just jump, jump over them, get them all to come towards you, jump over them and use the explosive ads as explosion to your benefit. And it really does take a lot of ads down. And as you can see, once once uh, they get too close, you just run past them and rinse and repeat. Now, in this wave, you're going to get, uh, at the end, you're going to get a, a ogre. Do not trade blows with that ogre either. As you can see, the ads go down really, really simple. If, as long as you don't let them encroach you. Don't let them push you too close. With the ogre, I, I suggest with the ogre, just, uh, just, just push, push left or right. The ads take a bit of time to, to get to you. I was trying to take down that charger, that yellow bar charger. That's why I put my sniper up there. And if, if they do get too close, you know, momentum will save you 99% of the time. But j just just for the purposes of the video, do not try not to. There's that guy I was trying to snipe. Uh, don't let them get too close. I'm pretty sure this is where you get the ogre now. Don't trade with the ogre. Not like I did. <laughs> but don't trade with them. Normally I would go up to the sides and and take them down. See, I didn't actually think I killed them there. <laughs> I'm looking for them, but yeah, I, I got a good headshot on them. Uh don't so we're doing the same thing. Still don't want I really don't want to use my super. I've kept it for two waves. You know, and because I do normally like to use my super on those ads. I figured that the last wave, which is the way, well, this wave after this, this this part of this, the strike after this is where I was having most of my issues. Because I felt like I w there was a lot of damage being done to me and I, I just didn't feel like I was doing the damage back quick enough. So I decided, just keep my super. Now the thing about the super is, I don't know if it works with every super. As you can see, I'm waiting about for him to put down his arc damage field and then I'll run up to the side and we'll try and get some attacks on them. The the thing about the as you can you don't get a long time before he brings out another another arc field but I'm just I'm just peeking him. Just trying to peek him. Thing about the arc strider is and like I was saying I don't know if it works for every super but when he's drawn you in you can pop your super, so there will become a time where there'll be quite a few ads when he's drawn you in. You can pop your super, and it will bring you out of his tractor field, that, uh, where he draws you in using his arc kind of thing. Just peek him; he's going to draw you in again. And and as I say, you'll see it in the video. There'll come a point where. Uh, I'm running to prop momentum for, for when I go in here. There'll come a point where there's a heap of ads and I'll pop my super. Now, I felt confident 
I did feel confident there that putting putting a bit on him. Uh, I did feel confident there not to pop it to draw me out of his his tractor field. But you, if you put if I'd have popped my super earlier, it would have drawn drawn me out of his uh, kind of tractor force field. Now, this is why this boss is just so kind of dangerous, because as you can see there. I had to turn direction and run back the other way, and he was still, like, hammering me. And now, it's a one-hit. That's the run, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate your view, as always, and I appreciate you taking the time to stop by. At the end of this video, I'm going to link the Award to Nothing, which is another nightfall from this week, and I'm going to link the time trial for the this week's... This week's... Uh, challenge ascendant challenge it was week one i didn't realize i'd done the time trail week one but i had so the week one's uh ascendant challenge is a time trail as well so i will link them at the end of the video thank you very much for watching again i hope you've enjoyed it i hope this gave you some help in some some area and i will see you guys in the next video